Char. Here I am, and I want to tell you something that I'm kind of excited about today. Uh, it just happened. I don't know if this is one of those, you know, out of the box things. Probably not, but um, I'm obsessed. I love apps. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, here's the story. Um, some time, you know, I've been working with apps and uh, making art on my iPad or my iPhone for a very long time. And uh, recently have been making some, I think, some pretty extraordinary things in a whole new style and using some new tools and apps, and, but just having a super good time with it. So anyway, I figured, well, I'm going to test out getting something printed at the size I was doing, which was 11 by 14 at 300 dpi. Pretty, pretty large file, frankly, and on a mobile device. So I wanted to see how it would print. And there's this wonderful app. I've used it before. It's called iPhoto Canvas. And uh, I downloaded it for my iPhone, and I have I have used it before, and I have um, had a you know some prints made, a couple of big ones actually. One I think like a 20 by 20, and another one um, a 10 by 10. Either way, they were gorgeous. They're cam you know mounted on canvas. So anyway, but I'm doing this new size, and it's a lot bigger than the ones that I had sent in before. And I got it. I got my print today, and I ordered the print on canvas without being mounted, like so many of them do, because I I figured I have some tech techniques that I want to try out on the printed canvas. But I thought I would show you what came up. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to, can I spin this around right now? Oh my gosh, no. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to try something else. Okay, so here's what I got back. And this was really cool. I mean, come on, isn't that nice to get a, like a personal note from somebody? Nice work with a, a smiley, happy face. I love it. That made me feel so good. I, I, it made me feel like they really liked what I'm doing. And of course, we all want recognition, right? So anyway, here it is. This is the print, the canvas print, which is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I can't believe the fantastic clarity that this thing has. Let me see if I can get right over the top of it. And you can really see that. It's a photo within a drawing is what I did, right? So this is one of my pictures from a theater production at Music Circus where I'm the company photographer. And I just love this picture, it's so beautiful. And I thought, what the heck, you know? And I was inspired when I was creating this image, the drawing. And um, so the whole thing, just so you know, was done entirely on my iPad. The photograph, of course, the, the picture itself of the fortune teller, which I call this piece, the fortune teller. Uh, that was an actual photograph that I imported onto my iPad, right? Um, but the drawing was done in an app on my iPad. And this is a frame that I created and uh, used as the frame in the picture. But the drawing is my drawing. And then I also created a, uh, a bokeh background using a different app entirely. So you can really get a sense of the clarity and the wonderful quality of this thing and the texture of the canvas, which I frankly think is quite beautiful. And of course, you know, I've watermarked it. Oops, what's that? Okay, we get rid of that. Um, and I, you know, I had put my name and my website address on it for, you know, when I'm publishing online. Frankly, I'd probably not do that for subsequent printing. I would probably sign it in a different way. But this was a test print. This was something I wanted to try out. So not only could I see this, but also when I'm teaching people how to do this amazing stuff so they can see the results that they can get. So I'm just letting you know um, what the result was and how excited I am that somebody would take the time and write nice work and then send this to me. I don't remember ever having that happen before. Not that the work isn't nice. It's just nice to be acknowledged by a human on the other end. So thank you, iPhoto Canvas. And... Um, Thank you for listening and watching. And if you want more information from me or you want to learn how to do some of these amazing things that I know how to do, please get in touch with me. I would love to teach you um, a live online. I, that's how I do it. I occasionally do live workshops, but um, either way, get in touch. Okay, bye.